Jeff Babbitts here and today I'm going to show you how to install the full contact hardware two-point Strat tremolo on the Stratocaster guitar. Here we have the full contact hardware two-point Stratocaster style tremolo. This is the package you will receive. And let's open it up to see what's inside. Here is the tremolo arm itself. And as you can see, it's the screw in type. Here we have the actual two point tremolo. Here's the two points, it's a knife edge system. Intonation screw access, saddle lock feature. Here's your general instruction sheet. Make sure you go to fullcontacthardware.com and register your hardware purchase. Also included in the kit are all the necessary springs, spring clips, mounting screws to mount the spring clip. We also include the inserts with the knife edge fulcrum screws uh, in case you want to install this on a new guitar. Uh, you have those to use. And also in the package is the 1.5 millimeter wrench for all of your adjustments. Okay, so this is the Fender two-point style tremolo we're going to replace with the full contact hardware two-point tremolo. And to remove this tremolo, you need to remove the springs located on the back of the guitar and I've already removed this this cover here. We'll see that the cover plate sits on the back. I've taken that off already. And you just simply lift your springs up and they come right off. Flip the guitar back over. And now we want to loosen these two pivot screws slightly. Your tremolo should just pop right off now. Now to protect the guitar's finish, I'm going to install some tape. And then we're ready to install the full contact hardware bridge. As I've mentioned before, each kit includes pivot screw and a insert. And this is really the same screw. Matter of fact, if you wanted to, you could just thread the screw right into the existing insert in the body. This is the same screw that is mounted in the strap body. So I'm going to use the screws that are already mounted in the body. And to install the full contact tremolo, you just take the entire tremolo unit. Engage the knife edge of the tremolo floor into the 
screw in the, in the screw and just screw your screws down a little bit. It's not too critical right now how far they're screwed down. And now we're going to turn the guitar over. And we're going to install the tremolo springs back on to the string block. And before we do that, I want to show you that in the package, you also get a brand new spring clip, as well as a long wooden screw for adjusting the tension. So you can see that you have everything you need in the kit, and if you're just changing out a tremolo unit, there's no need to necessarily change all these components. It's pretty much the same. So I'm going to be installing the, the springs. And I like to use the ones in the kit because they're, they're extra tough and they really work well if you're just using three especially. Now the tremolo is in place. The springs are installed from the back and you just want to make sure that your knife edge on the tremolo floor is engaged into the the notch on the two screws and then you can install your tremolo arm at this point. Just insert it and give it a spin. You start feeling a little resistance then you then you know that you're in the right position. It'll just kind of stay there and you want to work the tremolo to make sure that your floor is locked into the into the grooves and the screws and we are we're engaged it's nice and smooth and right now we're ready to reinstall strings pretty simple okay to install strings you just simply per string hole you thread the string through and just pull it right through the body. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to adjust your action height. And like all the full contact hardware saddle assemblies, on the housing is the saddle lock. Loosen that on the left and on the right is the height adjustment. So when you turn that, that activates the ECAM saddle and that moves your string up and down. So turning that clockwise, that's rotating that saddle insert and I'm raising my string up and down. You can see on the fretboard the string is moving up and down. Right now I have it set pretty high. I'm going to turn the screw counterclockwise. And now you can see the, the string is actually touching the fretboard. So set the action where you want it. And remember, whenever you're done setting your action, always go back in and lock that saddle insert lock screw. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust your saddle to create the proper intonation. And what you want to first do Make sure that your saddle lock screw is loose. 
this when tightened this locks all the saddles together keeps everything rock solid then I like to use the spring cover from the back of the guitar as a little shield and you're going to want to go in here and find that Phillips head screw and you can just move that forward or backward when you turn the screw to create your proper intonation. See the saddle's moving backwards now. I'm turning the screwdriver clockwise. Counterclockwise moves the saddle forward. And the, the key is is that once you have your intonation set and you're happy with that, always try to remember to go back and lock down that saddle locking screw. That'll really clamp things together and make everything rock solid. So now this tremolo is set up to dive bomb only and it comes back and hits the surface of the guitar and, it, and you can't pull up on it. Uh, I'm going to set the tremolo up to float now. Take a couple of guitar picks, put them on the back of the tremolo, just like that. Right now it's flat because I've put those spacers under the tremolo and we're going to tune your strings are should be very well stretched. Okay, it's tuned. You may want to check your action height a little bit. Um, and then we're going to remove the picks from the back. Take them right out. And then you'll see that tremolo is floating in the air here. Okay, now all we have to do is, on the back of the guitar, loosen some of the tension so that my notes come back to pitch. Okay, I'm going to show you how to tune a floating tremolo. And there's a few tricks involved, uh, really not that difficult, but uh, it all starts with having your strings tuned to pitch with a little shim behind the tremolo. So now the note will go down or, or go up. So tune the note, drop the arm, let it come back to pitch. Tune the note, drop the arm, let it come back to pitch. Tune the note, drop the arm, you want to repeat this step on all the strings. Once you do that, you have a floating tremolo. Pull up, 
I'll go down. It should remain in relative tune. 